So excited. Facebook just released a new feature update for live broadcasting from your desktop, which is share screen. So cool. So now you can share your screen going live on Facebook using your desktop computer or, you know, a browser. So I am just about to test this out and I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. Come on. Okay, so I've set everything up over here and I'm, I'm gonna be going live inside of my private group, which is exclusively for the Business Cinema Academy members. And we're just gonna check it out from there and see how it goes. So I've already set everything up because I've chosen where I wanted to go live by selecting this here. We can choose timeline, group, event, or a page that I manage. And I just chose group because I wanna go live inside of the private Business Cinema Academy group. And then I just added a little text letting people know what to expect from this live broadcast, testing out Facebook screen share. I have already connected my screen and I'll include some, I'll include the link to get to the post where I break that down. And I've chosen my microphone, which is my Yeti mic, love my yeti mic if you haven't already check out this video which shows you how to properly use your yeti mic okay so now i'm going to go ahead and go live Three, two, one. hello everyone i am going live testing out a new feature that was just released from facebook and it, it allows you to share your screen from the desktop when you go live within the browser, right? So it looks like from this initial test that you can either do one or the other. So I had the option to do screen share prior to selecting go live, but now that I've selected go live, that option seems to have escaped. It is no longer here. So I'm wondering if it is only available and you can use it prior to actually going live, meaning you have to choose either you're gonna share your camera or you're gonna share your screen, but you can't flip flop back and forth like you can in some of the third party apps and platforms that are available. Okay, so this time I'm gonna select screen share. Okay, so this time I'm going live, I have selected screen share and we're just gonna test this out. So let me just go back to this here. So this is what the screen looks like now with the different options that are available. So you can choose where you're, where you're gonna post your live broadcast, right? And then you can say something about the live broadcast, describing it to the viewers. Underneath that, you see the uh, three options. One has a camera next to it, the other one has a screen, and the other one is your audio option, right? So you're gonna go ahead and you can either do one or the other. You can't do both when you broadcast live. Oh, I just realized I went live on the wrong page. <laughs> That's okay. So what I'm doing right now is just testing the screen share option. So what I've just recently discovered is that you can share your screen when you go live from your browser on your desktop, but you can't go back and forth. You can either do one or you can do the other, but you can't do both, right? So you either can select the FaceTime and screen share, or excuse me, go live that way, or you can select screen share and then it shares your screen, but that's the only two options. You can do one or the other, but you can't do both. So to add the screen sharing option, you see this right here. When you select screen share for the first time, this is what's gonna pop up. And then you can go ahead and add in the extension. And when you're setting up your broadcast, you have these options here to create a live broadcast. You can choose where you're gonna post your live broadcast. Yeah, it's a bummer that you can't do both, but um, it's cool that you have the option to do this now. It's sort of cool, but it's not as sophisticated as some of the other options that are available. In conclusion, it's sort of cool, but it doesn't necessarily 
live up to expectations. High five for effort. Minus five for not being able to switch between the camera, the screen, and then when you are screen sharing, not being able to switch into different screens. So there, with the other options that are available from third-party apps and platforms, this is like sort of okay in a pinch if all you need to do is share one screen. But otherwise, I would I would always end up using something like Ecamm Live or OBS or another option that's available and on the market right now. If you wanna see more stuff like this, go ahead and give me a shout in the comments and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Remember, you're someone's reason to smile, so don't give up.